literally work from home. Coming in next five seconds. Without further ado, let's get started. Fundamental rule, aka ground rules for work from home. You should know if your work from home situation allows you to have a flexible sort of a schedule or is it just time bound, right? So if it's time bound, that means you need to get on your ass and you need to work the 9 to 5 for which your boss is paying you, okay? No, if you are comfortable with your organization or your work type is allowing you, you can start your work at 3 p.m. You can start your work at 2 a.m. for that matter, you know? It's okay. It's completely okay. But in order to have a routinized structure, it is very important to have a starting point and an end point. So make sure you have those. Essential at hand means that you should be having all the necessary things around you. For example, a notebook, pen, your water bottle, your green tea mug, right? You should be having all the necessary software such as Zoom, Skype, Trello or whatever software that your company is working on. Maybe you can have some essential hardware as well. Like if you're not comfortable with the mouse pad available on the laptop, then you can have a separate mouse attached. Or maybe you can have your printer nearby in case you need it. So make sure that you have essentials all around you that you don't have to get up again and again and you would be dissected from that productive zone in which you have to put yourself into to give a great and flawless quality of work. Next, we talk about strategic social interaction. Now see, I understand. If when you're working from home, you are actually in home, okay? And this is something that even your office people or your colleagues or your boss, they also understand. So bit of disturbances or interactions, it is okay. It's as long as it's not hindering your work, as long as it's not breaking your flow, it's completely okay, right? But still, when it comes to taking big amount of breaks or when you need to take care of the course, maybe some bell is ringing or maybe you need to eat your food, you need to strategically decide at what time you're going to have this social interaction, right? So let's say if you're having kids or maybe you want to spend time with your parents, make time out of that. That okay, fine. I'll work for let's say till maybe two, right? And then after two, I will just go for with my family. I will go to my family. I will spend time for some 30 minutes, right? Like that, like have clarity about when you are going to take breaks and when you are going to work. See, productivity model simply means that you figure out a way, you figure out a model for your own productive needs, right? Like there is this one technique that's called Pomodoro technique. I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. What this technique says is that you should work in, let's say, some amount of uninterrupted time and then you take a small break and then you want to work again for that much of an uninterrupted time then you take a small break for example you work for 25 minutes you take a five minutes break you take a five minutes breather okay or you work for 45 minutes you take a 15 minutes breather right or you work for 90 minutes you maybe take a 10 minutes break right so again it depends on your kind of workflow Finally, we talk about designated workspace. See, we understand that you are working from home, but it's not going to take place in a routinized nature if you are not having a routine to sit at a place every damn day and work, right? I'm not judging, I'm not saying that it just has to be some desk or something like that. Make yourself comfortable if you're home. You would know your space much better than me or anyone else who would be saying these, right? But have a fixed spot, even if it's some like some study table or it's your drawing room sofa or it's your bed, whatever it is, right? But just make sure the space is not too lazy or it's not too clumsy, it's clean, it's organized, you have all the things that you require. Those were my five tips about how you can have an effective work from home session every day. I know these times are difficult, we are stuck with the corona situation at our homes, but the work needs to be done, right? That's how we keep on moving. So let's keep moving, let's keep working, stay safe, stay happy, stay blessed, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Love, Mink.